Now here's an important word from Civil Defense. In times of uncertainty, true patriots stand ready. Meet Jack, husband, neighbor, American. Today he took the step every citizen should. He got his very own civil defense kit. Inside, the tools to survive, to help, to protect. Because freedom isn't just fought for abroad, it's preserved at home. Be like Jack, be prepared, be American. And what's up guys, Galactic Force Media, and today is kind of a special video. We're opening up a piece of history, just got this in the mail. Yes, it is the Civil Defense CDV777 Radiation Detection Kit or Set. I did get this off of eBay, paid roughly what the going price is, not really gonna say, didn't pay too much, didn't pay too little. It was $120. I did a lot of research before I picked one of these up. I wanted to add one to the collection, something that was a classic, something that was Americana, something that was a piece of history. And I do have notes on my phone. In here is a Victorine Model 6A, also known as the CD V700. There is over 550,000 distributed to emergency crews and safety programs across the US. This is just your classic Cold War radiation detector. I was able to actually score it in the original box. This particular one on the top here says property of the state of Nebraska. And if we go around and look right over here, Doge County Fremont VFD. And this one was calibrated on June 28th, 2016. And it says any problems call Mike. So Mike, I hope you did a good job calibrating this because we're gonna check it out. The main purpose of this video here is to open it up, show what I got, put some batteries in, make sure it works. And did I bring the batteries? I did. We're gonna be using some Duracell batteries, brand new. So let's flip it open and see what we're looking at. All right, it does have a, uh, hey, I've been in storage for a while uh, smell, which I guess that's part of the uh, Americana. Uh, the, the, the seller did package it up very nicely. He, he put a bunch of bubble wrap and everything in here. So let's get that out of here. And the first thing we're gonna actually pull out, cause I don't know anything about the unit, is the instructions. And this is the instruction and maintenance manual for the V715, which is not in here. I didn't get the V715, but it did come with the uh, instructions, which means the seller either took it out or sold it separately or, or it was never in there. So we're gonna put that to the side. And then we have the operating instructions for the 755B, which actually came. We'll pull that out as well. And then we have the how to use your radiological instrument serving meter. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, again, we don't have this one. This one's not in here. We, we do have these, but we don't have that particular meter. Um, but this is all the original stuff. So this sh should tell us the date. So it does have a FEMA, Federal Emergency Management Agency logo on here. And it says October of 1981. So this might be, a, I mean, Right there. This might be a 1981 uh, model, but then again, when I'm looking in here, yeah, this is this is from 81. It just tells you how to how to work uh, the unit, which is pretty nifty. Um, let's see what else. It did come with the headphones. That is the original headphone. Testing, one, two, testing. Uh, these are, wow, those are uncomfortable, but we'll, we're, we probably won't plug these in because I bought myself a little Skull uh, Civil Defense speaker from uh, eBay, which can't wait to plug that little guy in and see. Well, I don't know if this works. The seller said the unit works and was tested. So, I mean, am I getting a piece of history or are we getting a brick, right? So let's see what else is in here. This is the 750 model number 6B. This is the charge, this is to charge the decimeters, which I don't know how to use it. And we're, we'll, we'll see. There is a little bit of patina on the knobs, which definitely from sitting around. But we'll put that aside. It did come with, there are two. There are two decimeter pens in here, which is awesome. And I don't know how to use these either, but we will. 
Yeah, these are the uh, CDV 130, actually this is a 138 and this is a 742. They're both different sizes. I'm gonna have to do a little research. I know it's something with like you look in or something, but we'll, uh, we'll learn about these as well. And these are made by Bendix, which also made aircraft gauges in World War II. So let's take out the main event here, guys, and that is the CDV 700 itself, which also I want to thank the seller for wrapping it up uh, pretty good. And here you go. It does look pretty good. Um, there's the old Civil Defense logo right there. It does have a certification of calibration right here. And it does say certification of calibration, Nebraska Emergency Management Agency Radiation Calibration Lab certifies that this instrument has been calibrated on the X100 and X10 ranges using CS137 or cesium 137. Uh, this, the exposure rates measured are plus 10% of the true exposure rates. And this was from June 23rd, 2016 by the gentleman, uh, Mr. Uh, check source. 3.0 on the 10X range, and this expires in 2020. So this came from 1300 Military Road, Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, it's got an operational check source of cesium-137. I can feel it is in fact in there. Unit looks pretty good overall. And let's make sure the, don't wanna, there we go. We got the, well, I call it a pickle probe or it's a hot dog probe. Let's make sure the shield. Okay, so yeah, the shield opens up. That exposes for beta. Closes. Doesn't have any weird smells. We are in the off position. The knob works. It looks very clean, guys. I mean, look at this. Look how clean that is. And it even has instructions on the back. Install batteries in the CDV 700 meter. Select X10 times 10 scale. So it's, it's I guess it's idiot proof. Uh, it has instructions. It has the schematics on the inside, which is wonderful if we ever had to uh, actually do anything with this uh, or, to, or swap it out. It calls for one and a half volt. These are one and a half volt. Um, also, this is from 1981, so we'll see. Make sure the unit is off. I don't want to get zapped. Okay, we're in the off position. Plus sign on top. One. Two. Plus sign up top. Three. Four. And now what you're supposed to do is clip these back in. Make sure that's in. Make sure that is in, almost. Again, the unit looks clean. Like this, this looks so clean. All right. Carefully put it back in. Plus, hopes this uh, works. Okay. What we're also gonna do is take our little speaker, and again, this is just as the, um, I got this off of eBay, I forgot the seller's name, but just type in CDV 700 um, skull speaker, they have one that's with the nuclear also. So we're gonna, it says to just put it on so it is just finger tight. There you go. Okay, here come, let me get a drum roll, here we come, here we come, here we, here we come, here we go. So we're supposed to put the X10. All right. The check source is on the side. I, I hear it, guys. Actually, let's open up the shield. All right, let's check that check source. We're working. All right, thank goodness. Let me 
see if I can actually do some secondary video on my iPhone. So we're sitting at, it's on the X10, like you're supposed to. And I believe that's calibrated for the most part. You guys can tell me differently in the um, comments below. But there we go. So <laughs> it, it works, guys. I hope to get a lot of use out of this. I'm wondering if I should get another check source. I actually have something back up here. We're gonna use one of our gauges, which does give off, I believe, beta and gamma. This is a uh, aircraft gauge from an old Cessna. So let's just see. Yep, there it goes. You know, it's funny, it doesn't give off as much as the radio code would. But actually, I know why, because I'm not on, I'm on X10. Let's go to X1. Yeah, there we go. It's almost maxed out. It's uh, almost. So there you have it, guys. It works. I couldn't be happier. Let's turn that off. Always close the shield. Snap it back on. So there you go, guys. That was from a uh, completely random blind buy on eBay. Did just a little bit of research. I do have a fully working model. It has been calibrated since 2016. It's probably out of calibration, but it showed like it was working pretty good. This is gonna be a wonderful add to the collection. I can't wait to take this out. Maybe do some more videos with this. Maybe, I mean, even maybe bring it rock hounding. Who knows, we'll see. But that's it, guys. That is my video for the week. We're gonna, you know, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, check out the other videos, and happy hunting and stay safe out there, guys. Bye-bye.